The S&P 500 index is still enjoying the honeymoon period after breaking the record of 4000 in early April. Now, the index value is still calm at around 4190. However, like any other investment, of course, there are ups and downs. Sometimes the S&P 500 index can bounce like it is today and other times it falls down helplessly. One example of the crash of the S&P 500 index occurred occurred when the COVID-19 pandemic hit all parts of the world in March 2020. On March 23, a year ago, the value of the S&P 500 index fell 34%, followed by the entry of the index containing 500 bona fide companies. Throughout the US into the bearish zone when the turbulence hit the stock index fell in just one month where is under normal conditions the index can be bearish as steep as it takes 11 months but that's the stock market stock index corrections and falls are common and unpredictable prior to the crash due to the pandemic the S&P 500 had previously lost 10% in 38 sessions reflecting on the events above a fall in the value of the S&P 500 index in the future is still very likely to occur regardless of the main driver investors need to understand this so that they can immediately launch a strategy to secure money that is accurate when a peer market hits so you don't panic when the S&P 500 is peerish here are some tips you can do so you don't panic selling which could potentially potentially erode your profits what are these tips <coughs> will the S&P 500 index fall this year although you need to be wary of the potential bearness of the S&P 500 some analytic still think the stock index will continue to grow until the, the end of the year analysts published in Forbes have also refused up their earnings per share meanwhile for 2022 the EPS target has also been refused upwards the increase in the amount of liquidity in banks, global economic recovery, and growth in gross domestic product are reasons for analytic optimism regarding the stock market this year.